Welcome back guys to another asset editor to build. This is going to be a fun one because this is something that I, I've wanted a lot around my railway stations and um, cargo docks and things like that. I want container yards so we're going to put together a container yard. We're going to select uh, temperate and then we're going to choose park. Right now the default for uh, for a park size is uh, 12 by 8 but you can change this to whatever you want but I think actually we're gonna go with a 12 by 8 I think that's about the right size we want so first uh, what are we gonna put in a container yard well obviously we're gonna put lots of containers but first of all it needs to be secure we don't want people breaking into our containers so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, a pedestrian path a pavement path which we're going to put all around the outside to kind of block it off. There we go. Give us a nice concrete outer edge. And then inside that, if, um, let's see, I'm going to spin around, I think. Uh, we're going to put some fencing. Now, this is our route in for, uh, for people. So I think we're going to put in a nice... Right, a nice path up there and then we're going to have rows of containers on either side and we're going to dress it up now down here you you'll find loads of props that are already in the game and i'm sure there's going to be more coming along but uh, if we go to industrial and uh over this one structures uh we've got um, some fencing so the first thing we're going to do we're going to want to do is put in a nice gate we want a nice secure gate that we can uh, that we we can walk through so let's pop the gate in there boom lovely uh then we're going to want to put some fencing in and uh this is going to be the same like all the way around so i want to cover that little bit when i don't want anybody sneaking through that little hole that we've got over there and then another one i'm just going to try and match these up if i possibly can Let's make sure that I've got this properly aligned. It looks like looks like I have. But I want to try and get these posts in pretty much exactly the same spot. Boom. Right. Um, laying the rest is going to be exactly the same. So let me do that, and we'll come back. Okay. So I've just uh, I've just popped in the last piece, and uh, I just oh I just wanted to show you. Um, you can rotate these by 45 degrees with the right mouse key. Or, if you hold down the right mouse key, you can just move it around and position it like that in a freeform way. But if you're just doing squares and you're going around corners, just use the right mouse key and then you can flip it around really easily. Right, so that's that. And here's our nice perimeter fence. Looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, right. Let's get on then. So next we're going to put in, uh, we're going to put in some, some surfaces, I think. We can put in um, we can put in pavement and you can put holes in the ground and all kinds of things fields uh, ruins gravel I think because like container park I think is going to be more kind of um, roads now the the pavements are exactly the same as these pavement paths so I think for speed we're going to use the uh, the pavement paths if I can find them he says so. We'll pave that over there, and that. Then we'll pop around the corner, pave this, 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 nip across there, pave that. Right. Then, um, now, yeah, how are we going to do this? Good question. How the hell are we going to do this? I think we're going to have, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to, I'm going to pave the whole thing, I think. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna pave these and I'm gonna leave a couple of patches right so let's get our containers our containers are in the industrial section over here with the container icon which is pretty darned easy and we'll just pick up one of these little babies and the orientation is about right so we'll just start plopping these down and I think I'm gonna put like two two per square should allow me to do this 
fairly evenly and it should the spacing I think should be look about right so two more here boom boom and hopefully I should be able to speed up and do this pretty quickly yeah yeah we could throw these in man this is you know <laughs> This is a game in itself, just playing with the blooming asset editor. And then we've got the map editor as well. If you'd like me to do um, a tutorial or something on the on the map editor, drop me a comment. I'm more than happy to do that. In fact, <laughs> in fact, probably try and stop me. I can't. Oh, I can't wait to play around with the water dynamics. The water dynamics in this are just awesome. Definitely the best implementation of water that I have seen in a game. Oh, oh, I can't squeeze one in there. Oh, oh. That needs to be a little bit tighter, I think. There, and... Oh, can't create any more objects of this type. Oh, no! Well, not a problem, because we're going to dress this up anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some oil barrels... Oh, 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 what, we can't, oh, no, that's not good, that's not good, we can't put any more objects of this type in, oh, and it's like, oh, oh all my nice oil barrels I was going to put in and dress this up, ah, oh, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to have to improvise, guys, I'm going to have to improvise, uh, what else, oh, you kidding me? Oh, we can't put any more objects in it, looks like. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, you know what we're going to do then, I think? What we're going to do is maybe shrink this down a little bit. Okay, so I've reduced this in size to 10. I've moved my fences back inside. What I'd like to do, just because this is... This is kind of nice, like it, nice secure fencing and whatever, the, the trucks can pull in, they can load up with the containers, but it's a bit bland, we need to dress it up a little bit. So I'm going to take out this container here, and we're just going to make this look a bit like a bit of a scruffy kind of yard. So let's put uh, maybe, I'm going to have some, some of these crates down this end. And we'll put maybe maybe a single crate at the back there. Maybe a, what, a couple of oil barrels in front. And then here, well, I think we'll have a couple of these stacks of oil barrels. I'll put them close together. And then maybe uh, just one sitting out in front. And then maybe, you know what, Maybe maybe something a bit scruffier. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe the wood, maybe just some planks lying around on the ground. Yeah, I think I right, maybe just some planks lying around on the ground, just to make it look like a bit used. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, can we put anything else in? Now, we could put some of these, like, concrete blocks and things in, if we wanted to uh, to dress it up a little bit. So, I don't know, maybe we could put those down. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure. Um, or maybe, maybe even pl just plop one of these over here. There we go. And that's it. I mean, it is so easy to use, guys. I mean, really, it's just a case of have a look through all of the different objects. And there's loads of objects in here. Like all kinds of things from from parks and benches and little i don't know what uh, this what this is this like this is like a little bandstand or something and all kinds of um all kinds of de uh chairs and <laughs> fountains and you name it and uh yeah we're going to be uh, definitely having a play around with some of this stuff what's this i think this is um like a oh, this is a trash pile oh i'm thinking the trash pile might have been a uh, a better one than the planks. What do you think? Just a pile of rubbish line. Yeah, we're going to do that. Bulldoze that. We'll put in a pile of, just a pile of garbage lying around. 
Oh, yes. That's the finishing touch. So there we go. Now, let me show you this time um, how we exactly do the, uh, the, the saving of this, because I had a couple of comments on, on, the, uh, on the last video. So uh, first thing we do, we go to the Asset Editor Settings, and then zoom in so you get a, a, a good shot of it. Uh, I want to probably come maybe fractionally over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, about there looks good. Right, I'll take the snapshot. Okay. Escape. Come to the menu. Save asset. And then we'll pop in here. Let's see. What should we call this? Sky's Container Yard. And then you can give it a name. We're going to give it the same name. We're going to call it Sky's Container Yard. And then we'll this is the screenshot and if you've taken taken multiple screenshots you'll see arrows on here and you can just flick through them and choose the one that you uh, that you like and then so that all that's left is to go into the content manager and then here's sky's container yard click on share that'll share this to the uh, to the steam workshop we could put in a change note if we want uh, but I think I'm pretty happy with that so just publish now depending on the on how many objects you've put in this can take a, a, a minute or two to prepare and then to upload but you get this um, upload bar so you can see uh, you see your progress and we're almost done a few more seconds and boom And that's it. It doesn't get any easier than that, does it, guys? All right, I'll see you for the next one. If you've got any ideas, remember, leave me a comment. Peace out.